current guy has named some young guy. Even I didn't know about the deck came from a Korean guy. Well, it's good because I think the guy deserves some recognition and some traffic for his efforts. I've been playing for almost two months. I still don't know for sure the difference between tempo and control. Can you explain? So control usually has more AOE elements to it. So like brawl for warrior, um, they run shield slam. Whereas tempo, it's more about minion, minion placements having initiative on board. So stuff like Dragon Warrior, where it doesn't have Brawl, doesn't have um, Shield Slam. It's more about just constantly playing minions on curve, powerful minions for their mana cost. So a lot of Dragon cards are in that category. You know, 5 mana, 5 4, that deals has Battlecry deal 3, it's pretty insane. 2 mana, 3-3 three, three with charge, it's also pretty insane. So, these kind of things. That helps you maintain initiative on the board. Whoever said the Korean guy put it in Alex at first was right. He did only recently though. He also was testing out stuff like the Mukla. Wow, this guy's not playing around Hellfire at all. He's like, he thinks we're Zoo or something. We could do a refreshment vendor. That gives him pretty, gives him value trade here, I guess. But if I if I whiff on a drop, it's better to get refreshment vendor, is it? Maybe. Now he knows we're not zoo. Okay. I need corruption. I guess I'll we'll take a taunt. Perfect curve so far from the shaman, though. We miss we miss one drop. We have one drops in the deck. Why do you run MC Tech in the deck? It's just an extra fallback. It's I know what you guys are saying, like oh you aim to take initiative on the board, but what if you don't have initiative on the board? Like we don't right now, and I draw MC Tech. It's it's a good card, right? Gives a comeback. Probably Savannah's. So yes, we don't we don't want to be behind on board, but what if we are? It's just it's the same with Hellfire. Hellfire is not a proactive card; it's a reactive card because if you fall behind on board, you need to Hellfire. Is a win condition for this deck Draxus? No, win condition is Leroy uh, Faceless. It's a combo. It's a combo warlock. Yeah, if you could only draw it. It's good that he's trading, because all that trade is pretty useless. And we'll steal the... Oh, wow. He actually did that? He didn't even get the damage in then. And we still clear the board. Okay, so we tap first. I was kind of hoping the Donghammer would come out here. 
Oh, it's mid range. Okay. So they might not run Dong Hammer. Tap. I think I have to tap, right? Because I need, I need to get swing play from Shadow Flame. I guess we can always, always Shadow Flame the Harrison. We risk it for the biscuits. Attack. Uh, this is NA or EU? This is NA still. Okay. Where can I post a YouTube link to a song you might like? Uh, we're not doing song requests at the moment. But normally it would be through Nightbot. Okay. He's still trading. He could have put me down to two. He probably thinks it's Reno. That's probably why he didn't go face. I don't have to use the abusive. I can just Shadow Flame this. That allows me to get a coil. Coil from from uh, that. And we need to get your axis soon. That's your axis. Probably shouldn't tap here then. We don't need to tap. We can just develop develop board. Giving up legend with OTK where? Uh, we're just switching it up, just because, I don't know, wasn't having as much luck with uh, OTK. Part of it was just our draws too, it's not that the deck wasn't, isn't strong. Okay. I guess play around Lightning Storm. Oh, we should get rid of this, I think this is pretty high priority. In the end, that in the long run, that saves us health. We have two Arguses that we haven't drawn into yet. What's a good Hearthstone deck for Hearthstone new besides Zoo? Uh, I think just play what you enjoy, what you find interesting. Honestly, any deck you can learn. It just it just takes some time to learn it, but it's, it's worthwhile to invest. He's already played both of the both of the seven sevens. So BGH has no more targets. Harrison could still have a target. And with the lightning, the or not lightning, I always call this lightning, but the spell damage totem, this is also still weak to lightning storm. Hey Nathan, did you have to take calc 3? You know, calc 1, 2, and 3 don't really mean anything to me, because I don't know what they teach in 1, 2, and 3. But I did have to take calc. Like, what's calc three? Multivariable calculus? Is that what calc three is? I'm not sure what that means. Should we just play this? Should we play this. I've seen the lightning storm. Probably he's not playing dung hammer. I'm gonna be sad if he plays it now. But this. This starts pressuring. This puts him on a clock to find lethal. Calc three is multivariable. Oh, okay. Yeah, I took very multivariable calc. Second lightning storm. 
Don't clear the Harrison. Okay, that's good. He also runs a Harrison in his deck, so... I guess I'm lucky he hasn't drawn the Harrison yet. Everyone says Zoo is cheap, but you need to buy a BRM. Yeah, actually my Worgen Warrior is even cheaper because don't, you don't need adventures. That's a good point, ooh god. Because Imp Gang Boss is pretty critical to Zoo, I'd say. I mean, Harvest Golem is maybe the closest equivalent, but obviously not the same. I don't think I want to take any damage. Uh, yeah. Again, we're just going under the assumption he's not playing Donk Hammer. That's weird. Doesn't even clear. Oh, MC Tech, you're so useful. Come right when I need you. He could still win. Right? Maybe he has two lightning bolts and a rock biter, and he plays Harrison into into all three of those. Why Squire over Possessed Villager? Squire has better Argus synergy than Possessed Villager. So if you think about it. If you if you Argus up a Squire, both hits have taunt, whereas the first only the first hit of Possessed Villager has taunt. The only advantage of Possessed Villager is it has better PO, PO synergy, because you still get the 1-1 one, one after. So Squire doesn't have good PO synergy. That's that's the main difference, I guess. So it's whether or not you want the Argus synergy or you want the PO, PO synergy. If it's a token one, we compete with pretty much all the four drops. Like, we can deal with uh, Teacher, we can deal with Mire Keeper, we can deal with that too. Makes it kind of weak to swipe, but we still have a thing left over. If he swipes face, we still get the Imp. This deck is early game zoo morphing into OTK. Yeah, it basically has this uh, decent early game package, like zoo, but it has board clears which zoo doesn't have. So if you if you face against um, zoo, you should be favored. Hey frog, thanks for the host. Really appreciate it. Is this uh, IU's friend? Yeah, frog raid. You guys haven't checked out frog. I think he plays mostly or he's gonna play a lot of mage. Not sure if. Recently, it's been tempo or, or not. But thanks for the host. Really appreciate it. We can go vendor, or we can do boss. We can do boss and coil. I want to cash in the tokens before swipe. I guess we should coil first and see what we draw.
He's a tempo mage god. Yep. Alright, appreciate that, frog. Welcome to all the froggers. Please don't get squashed on the way over. Anyway, I've designated you as my personal tutor when you're streaming. Get ready for a lot of Ember links to problems. Alright, sounds good, Nathan. Power of the, uh, power of the Wild? No Power of the Wild. So then, we're hitting here and just Hellfire. Maybe I want the card draw first, or the coil. Praise Frog Saron. <laughs> My dad has his degree in mathematics, but he recently passed. I'm sorry to hear that, Nathan. I hope, uh, hope you are well. Um, and hope you, hope you have support. I guess we're playing these two. I just think that's worth instead of tapping. I think with Hellfire in hand, we can clear another board. So it's probably worthwhile to tap. That's probably more important. It's kind of why I've been watching your stream a lot more. I can't sleep. Um, yeah. definitely rough. I, I never, luckily I haven't had anything as serious as that happen in my lifetime, but uh, even, you know, more minor things, I, I know the feeling, it like, gets you really down. It's more during those times just to know, know who your support is, know who's really looking out for you. I'm not sure if Bran is worth. I probably should save the Hellfire for there, because this is a token token druid, so at some point they're gonna make a gigantic token board. I think I tap first Bran Peather. Seems okay. We can probably leave this up without getting punished. This probably and abusive. I want some buffs? I found you guys are the ones that have my back. Yeah, we try to have a supportive stream in here. I, w I don't want to have um, like a very cancerous chat or anything. Music's a bit loud. Yeah, okay, certain parts of the music's loud, but then, like this part, it's probably not too loud, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can abuse of this. I guess we'll start with that. Abuse, we'll abuse of this into here. We can do a double flame juggler. Probably trade here. Do a double flame juggler, see if it hits. I think I'll tap then. Shadowfoot. Okay, that's another option. Maybe that's even better. Take advantage of the brand while we have it.
It's, it's still weak to swipe, but he didn't have to swipe last turn. He had Drake even on board. He had Drake swipe. So, unless he top decks swipe here, he doesn't have swipe. Flame in plus brand value. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's good to have a pet. Keep your schedule more regular. Like, pets, you know, they have pretty, pretty regular needs. You gotta go take them for a walk. And all of that. So, yeah. It's good. I don't think he really played that many spells. So this is probably not super amazing. Yeah, he only played a few spells. Okay, there's a secret though. I guess we check for freezing. Lethal? Did I miss lethal the previous turn? How did I have lethal? 